Good afternoon, my re News Media TV family. Welcome back to the channel for another news update. And in the news of this afternoon, two 14-year-old girls have gone missing in separate sections of the island. The police and the relatives and other concerned persons relative to two missing 14-year-old girls are anxiously seeking to contact with the teens who were last seen in two different sections of the island. In St. Catherine, an Ananda alert has been activated for Nikira Pennicott of Hibiscus Avenue, Windsor Heights Central Village in the parish, who has been missing since Friday, August 23. She is of light complexion, medium build, and is about 154 centimeters, or 5 feet 1 inch tall. Reports from the Central Village Police are that about 6.30 a.m., Nikara was last seen at home wearing a pink tube top and black tights. She has not been seen or heard from since then. All efforts to contact her have so far been unsuccessful. Anyone knowing the whereabouts of Nikira Pennicott is asked to contact the Central Village Police at 876-984-2644, the 119 Police Emergency Number, or the nearest police station. In St. James, an Ananda alert has been activated for Tishana Johnson of Signum Road, Rosemount in the parish, who has been missing since Wednesday, August 28. She is of brown complexion, slim build, and about 142 centimeters or 4 feet 9 inches tall. Reports from the Mount Salem police are that about 6 a.m., Tishana was last seen at home. Her mode of dress at the time she went missing is unknown and that she has not been heard from since then. Anyone knowing the whereabouts of Tishana Johnson is being asked to contact the Mount Salem police at 876-684-9080 the 119 police emergency number, or the nearest the police station. Murder convict reaches out to Governor General via social media. Having spent the last 28 years behind the bars, a murder convict has taken to social media, hoping his case may catch the attention of Governor General Patrick Allen. The man Orville Murray, also called Ricey, was convicted of murder in 2000, and initially sentenced to death. However, it was later resentenced to life imprisonment and ordered to serve 45 years before being eligible for parole. Murray's appeal against his conviction was dismissed by the Court of Appeal in April 2002. His petition for special leave to appeal the Judicial Committee of the Privy Council was dismissed in June 2003. A 28-year midday of a people murder, he said in an amateur video, which was a seemingly shot inside one of the island's prisons. Me now go and like me innocent, innocent. Me used to inner the streets. Gunman killed my father and me respond emotionally, and someone got killed. Me confess and me did not plead guilty, but the investigating officer always told me him 70% sure that me innocent, Murray said. In his brief video message, Murray asked for the matter to be brought before the Governor General and expressed hope that the cop who investigated his case could help. He said that he had no money to pay lawyers to fight for his freedom and claimed that he was sent to death row for someone else wrong. Inmates in Jamaican prisons are strictly prohibited from processing cell phones and the use of these devices within the correctional facilities is considered a serious violation of prison regulations. It is unclear when the video was recorded. Meanwhile, in the case brought against the Murray, the Crown relied on evidence from an alleged eyewitness who said on the day of the incident, in 1996, he was at home on his veranda, facing the gate to the premises. Two men were conversing among themselves at the gate when Murray and another man, called Glitteros, came up and shot both of them, resulting in their deaths. In his defense, Murray said he did not go to the eyewitness's premises on the day in question, and they did not shoot at anyone. JPS completes a power restoration in St. Elizabeth communities. The Jamaica Public Service Company says it has completed restoration of service to communities in St. Elizabeth just ahead of its August 31 deadline. The company's distribution infrastructure in the parish was severely damaged during Hurricane Beryl, leaving residents without a power for as long as eight weeks. JPS President and Chief Executive Officer Hugh Grant announced the completion of restoration work on Thursday afternoon at a back-to-school fair organized by the company in Ginger Hill. 
section of the network has been completely rebuilt. And this rebuilding will continue in the ensuing weeks. And that will be done on a planned basis. I want to be clear. Some customers may still have issues on their property, which is preventing them from receiving supply. But their communities are back. So we are working with those customers to have those issues resolved so we can get them the power because the power is in the communities. A few others may also be out due to access issues. And we are working with the relevant authorities to have that also resolved. In the meantime, Energy Minister Daryl Vaz has called for GPS to ensure service is also restored to isolated areas in the coming days. Mr. Vaz while commending GPS for rebuilding its network ahead of the August 31 timeline said it has been a painful eight-week long wait for full restoration. Also of importance to me is the remaining schools that were damaged that need to be reconnected for back to school, the NWC pumps that are still out, and of course the NIC wells that serve the farmers. But a great achievement, and I give credit to the president and his proactive approach since he took office on August 1st, that he has been able to lead from the front and get this painful matter behind us. Jacquier remanded until November in attempted murder case in the Netherlands as the prosecutors challenge acquittal. A court in the Netherlands has ruled that Jamaican reggae singer Jacquier will continue serving his six-year sentence for attempted manslaughter in the Netherlands. The ruling was handed down last week when Jacquier, whose real name is Secretary Alcock, appeared in a pro forma hearing as the prosecutors have been pushing to overturn his attempted murder acquittal. The next the pro forma date is November 12. According to Dutch law, inmates have to attend a pro forma hearing while awaiting a court date for the actual trial. Therefore, a judge has to decide about the incarceration every 90 days. The trial judges had ruled that Jacquier's actions were not a premeditated act of attempted murder and he was acquitted of the more serious charge. However, following the sentence, Dutch prosecutors appealed against the acquittal of the attempted murder charge. He was remanded in January 2024, pending a new trial. Jacquier is known for the hit songs Longing For, Love Is, That A Girl, and The True Reflection. Guys, thank you for watching. See you this evening at 6 p.m. for another news update.